Welcome to Trans Confessions. We have here today the lovely and exquisite Chloe Kay. How are you, Chloe? Good. How are you? Good to hear. I'm good. Very excited to have you here today. Um, we're going to ask you a bunch of questions about your life, your transition, um, just being trans and doing porn and all that good stuff. So tell us, where are you from and how old are you? Um, I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm 24. So you're a Vegas local. Yeah, I'm That's born and awesome. raised here. Don't meet a lot of people born and raised in Vegas. And born, a lot of them are transplants, so that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And so you grew up here. I did. And when did you graduate then? Like, I graduated high school in 2013. Now, we'll get right into it. Um, when did you transition? I transitioned February 12, 2016. So was, uh, that was after high school? Yeah, it was three years after high school. And how was it in high school for you, just knowing that you were trans? Were you like feminine presenting? Like, what was your experience like? Um, I had a very good experience. I was never bullied or anything, but I was more on the more feminine side of, uh, you know, being male. Um, but no, I was respected because I never pushed, you know, any boundaries or anything. So you never had to deal with like bullies or anything with that thing or anything or. No, I didn't. I never like presented myself as a woman in high school. Oh, I still okay. dressed as a male. Yeah. Um, but everyone knew that I was, you know, gay at the time or whatever. Right. Yeah. Did you have like boyfriends or? Um, I had long distance boyfriends. Yeah. I kind of I never like really shit where I ate to say. <laughs> it's like I was more. I didn't have that side in high school. You know, I was more closed off. So you had long distance boyfriends in high school. Mm -hmm. How'd you meet them on like just the internet? Yeah, just like MySpace or Facebook at the time. Cool. And did you ever like, meet them in person or? I only met one of them in person. How'd that go? Good. We're still friends to this day. Cool. Well, that's mm -hmm. awesome. And when you met him in high school, did you know anything about your being transgender? Were you still in the closet with that or? He didn't know, but after he moved to town to be with me, uh, I left him probably about a year into a relationship, and then I transitioned about a year and a half, two years after that, and he told me in the process of a breakup, like, I've always thought that there was something different, or that like, you weren't telling me, or mm. you couldn't like commit to me in this sense. And did you guys hook up again after you transitioned, or? <laughs> no, we never did. Oh, uh, that would've been cute. Mm -hmm. So, at what point in your life did you know or think that you were transgender? I would say when I was 20, so probably about two years after I graduated high school, is when I really, you know, got to, is when you start your adulthood, you know? And that's when I was kind of just like, experiences and not being happy and having to present yourself a certain way in high school and living like a normal life. And I was just kind of sick and tired of it. Um, how was it like emotionally coming out and transitioning? Did you find like a lot of support or like? Uh, it was more, it was emotional on like, my family, they were, they've been supportive since the beginning, but it was just more like coming to, like, you know, like finding yourself, that was the mm -hmm. emotional part. Um, but my family's been by my side since the beginning of it. Like I told my mom and she was, you know, helped me find like a therapist to get my subscription and everything. So it was super easy. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, it, it seems like it's getting easier and easier mm -hmm. as time goes on to just be trans and come out with it. And less shocking, I feel like, you know? Yeah. Um, so tell me about your family. Who's in your family and who'd you grow up with? Uh, I grew up with my mom, my dad, my grandma on my mom's side has been in my life since the beginning, and my brother as well. Cool, and your mom and dad are married? Or? Yeah, they just celebrated their 30th anniversary. Oh, wow, mm -hmm. that's so exciting. Your whole family was supportive, not just your mom, right? Uh, yeah, so my entire family. At first, my dad was just a little confused at the thought of that, you know, that his son wanted to oh be a woman. Um, but over time, he just wanted me to be happy and that he loves me regardless, you know? Awesome. So, yeah. Um, it's great that your family is really supportive. Mm -hmm. um, when did you start working? Like, mm -hmm. not porn, but like just normal jobs. I got my first job when I was 18. So about three years before I transitioned, and it was at Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. So I went because they're like a real job. I was just a model, you know, folded the clothes, greeted people. Oh really? Mm -hmm. And you were in transition at that point? Yeah? No, no. I think I was... at one point you told me you were you had transitioned on 
a job or something like while you're working? Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so I after I worked at Star or after I worked at Abercrombie and Fitch, I got a job at Starbucks, and that's when I started figuring out my womanhood, and I transitioned in the workplace at Starbucks. And around that time, I was going through school to be a makeup artist. So then I got a job at Ulta Beauty as well as Starbucks, simultaneous. And I transitioned to both fields. And how would your coworkers take that? Were they like, was it a problem for like your manager or? No, uh, my manager at Starbucks was actually part of the LGBTQ community. So she was very supportive of me and all my coworkers were really supportive. And of course, working at Ulta, you know, it's a beauty field, so everyone was super on board too. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So how would you say transition has improved your life? I'm more confident now. You know, you, I actually feel myself. My fa I feel like I have a better relationship with my family. My brother and I have a better connection now. Um, my entire life, he was never in my life. But now, like, I'm his little sister. He takes more care of me and everything. So Aww. it's been, like, a big improvement, honestly. So you... You would say that maybe you you as a person are more open to like connections and relationships with your family and friends mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, it's a lot stronger now that you feel like yourself, or. Mhm. Mm One hundred percent. Because I feel like I can be myself around them now, and they can actually get to know the real me, not just on like shell or like a wall. Right. 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 So you worked at Starbucks and you worked at Abercrombie Fitch, mm -hmm. and then how on earth did you get into porn? Um. Well, around the time that I was working at Ulta, because I did quit Starbucks, so Ulta was my only job, uh, I was going to the gym a lot, and I was kind of scouted at the gym. Somebody approached me to be like a atmosphere model here in town for like some rapper who came to town. So of course, in my mind, I'm like, oh, he wants me to be an escort or something, you know? Right. Well, he didn't know I was trans, so I didn't acknowledge the fact, and I was just like, blew it off. Thinking on it, because I, at the time I was like, you know, had a, some low-end job, I joined a, like a, like a sugar daddy site called Seeking Arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of it. Yes, and so on there, my old agent scouted me because I was super fit and I was at, like, um, it said trans on my profile, and he was trying to make the change into trans porn. Hmm. So then he hit me up. And I was not for it at the time. And then about, about a year and a half into our friendship, I finally said, like, I'm down to do it. Like, I oh, thought about it for a long time. Yeah? What made you finally decide, I want to do this? <laughs> a relationship. Oh, really? Yeah. I was in a committed relationship, and it just went south. And so I kind of just made my own decisions at the point. So porn is like a rebound, kind of like... In a way, yes. I yeah. wanted to do porn ever since I was 18. Oh, wow. And like still in high school, but I just feel like yeah. I didn't have the aesthetic to be a gay performer. Mm -hmm. um, but then when I transitioned, I was like, I can definitely do this. Yeah. You know? So I just kind of just kind of meditated on it and just thought about it, and I finally hit it back up, and I was like, I'm ready. So let's hear about your first scene ever. What was it? It was with how to go. My first scene was with Christian XXX, and it was for PureTS.com. Uh, it went good. I feel like walking into it, I wasn't nervous. I was more nervous at the repercussions that it would have with like if my family found out or just like in general. Uh, but yeah, it went super smooth. Great. And um, so you were nervous. How was like the response to your first scene? Uh, super good. I was actually really surprised because you know, walking into your first scene, you don't know if you're going to go anywhere or do anything or get more work. You're just going to kind of put yourself out there and you know, like be vulnerable in that sense. So. It was cool to see the good, like, um, encouragement that I got from it. And it's probably really exciting to be seen, like, beautifully as a woman. Yes. And, like, revered for that. And mm hmm So, from there, you've gotten a lot of work since then, and you've been all around. Mm hmm Um, what are your favorite scenes to do? Like, what kind of stuff are you into? I like more of the Gonzo scenes. Uh, Evil Angel, I love Shane for Evil Angel. I feel like that's where, like, I have a lot of my strongest scenes up with. It's a lot of like freedom to kind of be yourself on those sets. Yeah. I find. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yes, that's really great. Now, um, you've got a best friend. Mm hmm. And she's with this girl. She is. About your age, right? Yep, the same age. And you told me something before this a little scandalous that nobody knows about. Mm hmm. She had a boyfriend. How long ago was this? This was probably about like two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago? 
So she had a boyfriend, and then you slept with a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Mm -hmm. Bad girl. How did that come to happen? So, me and my best friend at the time, we met this guy on Black Friday, and this was before I transitioned. And like I was like super into him, but I didn't know how to like go about it because I know if he was like swung that way or whatever. So then she kind of went in and got his attention, and you know they started dating each other. So then, like two years later, I transitioned, and he was like hitting me up on Facebook and stuff, so, you know, telling me how, like I'm pretty and like oh you're a, you're a TS now and this and that whatever. So I think it kind of like sparked a curiosity in his head. And he hit me up one day to hang out, and he came over, and yeah. <laughs> and your friend didn't know about this? No, she didn't know about it. And to this day, she doesn't know, huh? Mm-mm. So what, he comes over. Why, why was he coming over? He was, like, going to, like, hang out, watch a movie or something, or? Well, I've always had, like, a sexual attraction to him. Mm -hmm. Since before transition? Yeah. Wow. So I always thought he was, like, super hot. So the second I got the chance to, or, you know, I hopped on it. So, literally? Yeah, literally. So <laughs> I invited him over. He came over to watch movies. We all know what that means. <laughs> One thing led to another, and we, you know, fucked. It's <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Seems to happen a lot. Um, do you think he wanted to fuck you before your transition, or was this, like, kind of an open for him to get in, in you? <laughs> I feel like there was some kind of, like, you know, like he would fuck me, but... He wasn't comfortable with himself yet. A lot of sexual tension, maybe. Yeah, until sure. that went away after that. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> until I, you know, became more feminine and whatever. So. Cool. Is he a good fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like that dick? Oh, I loved it. He was uncut. <laughs> and it was the first uncut dick I ever had in my life. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Cut or uncut? What's your favorite? Um, I don't know. I think I like sucking uncut dick, but I like fucking cut dick. Mm, interesting. Mm hmm. Well, it's been a lot of fun talking to you. Mm -hmm. You're very interesting, and it's been really interesting learning about your life. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for coming over and awesome. doing this interview, and you're gorgeous. Thank you. And we'll get right into it. Thank you for having me. See you later. Bye.